When it comes to building cross-platform desktop app, the big question is which framework balances performance, ease of use, and ecosystem support? Let's break down the four most talked about options. Towery, Flutter, Electron, and Neutralino. Let's begin with Towery 2.0. It's a next-generation framework that pairs a JavaScript front-end with a Rust back-end, compiles to incredibly small binaries around 2.5 to 3 megabits, making apps feel fast and lightweight, memory usage is significantly lower than Electron or Flutter, and it launches in under half a second. Security is a major strength, too, with a built-in Rust sandbox and completely tighter uh, permission control. Developers praise how Towery shrinks an Electron-style 300 megabyte app down to just a few megabytes. However, Towery requires Rust knowledge, and its build tools can be heavy, some projects ballooning to over 10 gigabytes in disk usage. It's ideal for devs who want efficiency and control. Flutter Desktop is Google's cross-platform UI toolkit built with Dart. It lets you build apps for mobile and desktop from a single code base with rich animations uh, and customizable widgets. It's great for visually polished apps, but binaries often exceed 20 megabytes and runtime memory can spike to 800 megabytes or more. While Dart is beginner friendly, Flutter isn't as mature as its mobile counterpart and community support is still growing. So it's for devs who value a single code base for all platforms and don't mind larger files, Flutter is solid. Electron is the veteran in this space. It powers apps like Slack and VS Code by embedding a full Chromium browser and Node.js. Its main advantage is a massive ecosystem of plugins and libraries, plus the ability to reuse web development skills directly. But the trade-offs are well known. Large app sizes, often 80 to 120 megabytes, and high memory usage which can range between 100 and 300 megabytes even for simple apps. Despite its bloat, Electron remains the go-to for quick cross-platform development with strong community support. Neutralino is the minimalist of the bunch. It doesn't package Chromium or Node. Instead, it uses the OS's native web view, producing binaries as small as 1 to 3 megabytes. It's blazing fast to build and run, making it appealing for small tools and prototypes. But its simplicity comes with trade-offs. Fewer integrations, no advanced security features, no auto-update system, and limited community resources. Developers love its speed, but it's not ready for complex apps or production environments. So which one should you choose? Towery 2.0 is the winner for performance-focused apps and um, now even supports mobile, but it requires a bit more setup and brush knowledge. Flutter shines if you need beautiful UIs across both desktop and mobile, even if the apps run heavier. Electron is the best if you want a mature, well-documented ecosystem and can accept the bloat. Neutralino is perfect for lightweight tools or internal utilities, where speed and size matter more than advanced features.